hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion related to time response analysis so here we are with another question where it is given that a unity feedback control system it has an open loop transfer function given as this okay and we have to find out the various time response parameters such as rise time peak time percentage overshoot or peak overshoot and settling time so we know that for a control system second order control system the general format of closed loop transfer function that is given by gs by 1 plus gs hs is equal to k omega n square by s square plus 2 jitta omega n s plus omega n square this is the basic format now here first we have to convert it into this closed loop transfer function format so here gs by 1 plus gs hs is given as 10 by s into s plus 2 by 1 plus gs hs hs is equal to 1 because unity feedback unity feedback means the feedback path transfer function is equal to 1 hs is equal to 1 so here it becomes 10 by s into s plus 2 by s into s plus 2 plus 10 by s into s plus 2 so this becomes 10 by s square plus 2s plus 10 this is the closed loop transfer function cs by rs 10 by s square plus 2s plus 10 so if we compare this denominator s square plus 2s plus 10 with this s square plus 2 jitta omega n s plus omega n square why because it is the characteristic equation 1 plus gs hs so if we compare we will get first the undamped natural frequency omega n square is equal to 10 that implies omega n is equal to root over of 10 which is equal to 3.162 radians per second that is the undamped natural frequency then 2 jitta omega n here it is equal to 2 on comparing both that implies jitta is equal to 2 by 2 omega n equal to 2 by 2 into 3.162 so if we calculate it 2 2 gets cancelled it is 1 by 3.162 so it is coming around uh, 0 0.316 okay that is the damping ratio jitta so we have got omega n we have got jitta now we can get all the other parameters first is rise time okay rise time the time taken for the output response to reach 100 percent of the steady state value normally the steady state value is taken as one uh, depending upon the specifications it will be mentioned what is the steady state value okay so rise time is pi minus phi by omega d uh, okay yes pi minus phi by omega d so here we have to calculate the value of phi we have to draw the right angle triangle where this angle is phi this is the damping factor jitta omega n this is the damped oscillation frequency which is omega d which is equal to omega n into root over of 1 minus jitta square and this is omega n so here this angle phi is equal to tan inverse of 
root over of 1 minus jitter square by jitter directly I am doing it so it is coming around phi is equal to 10 inverse of root over of 1 minus 0 0.316 square by 0 0.316 which is equal to the value is coming around 71.578 degree so here we cannot use this value you have to convert it into radians so for that we'll multiply it with pi by 180 into 71.578 where pi is equal to 3.14 okay so the result is 1.2486 radian 0.2486 radian so this much degree 71.578 degree is equal to 1.2486 radian so this value we can put it here so it will be 3.14 minus 1.2486 by omega d which is omega n into root over of 1 minus zeta square omega n is 3.162 which we calculated here jitta is this much so it will be root over of 1 minus 0 0.316 square ok this so the result is 0 0.6304 second 0.6304 second no, 0 0.63 second you can take it rise time this is okay this next is we have to find out the peak time okay the time taken for the output response to reach the first peak value the maximum value that it can uh, attain so the peak time is given by pi by omega d which is 3.14 by omega n into root over of 1 minus jitta square so again that is equal to 3.14 here omega n is 3.162 root over of 1 minus 3.316 square jitta square so if we calculate it is coming around peak time is coming around 1.2 zero four six six second this much so one point zero four seven second you can say this much okay this much value so this is the peak time okay this is the peak time so we have calculated uh, rise time peak time now the percentage overshoot so overshoot value is calculated in terms of percentage which is equal to 8 to the power minus pi jitta by root over of 1 minus jitta square into 100 which is equal to 8 to the power minus 3.14 into uh, jitta value is 0 0.316 by root over of 1 minus 0 0.316 square into 100 so if we calculate it it is coming around okay uh, 0 0.3514 into 100 which is equal to 35.14 percentage this much this is the percentage of overshoot okay next is the settling time okay so settling time is calculated for uh, 2 percent error and 5 percent error okay the, so there will be two values okay settling time so here settling time for 2 percent error is given by 4 by jitta omega n which is equal to 4 by jitta is uh, 0 0.36316 and omega n is 3.162 so 
so it is coming around it is coming around 4 seconds okay it is coming around 4 seconds and settling time for 5% error because the output response it normally settles in between 2 to 5% of the steady state value whatever the steady state value is normally it is 1 so normally it settles in between that so here uh, for 5% error it is 3 by jitta omega n which is 3 by this much 0.316 which is the value of jitta this is omega n so it is coming around again uh, 3 seconds because it is equal to 1 the time constant 1 by jitta omega n is coming 1 so this so these are the two values of settling time for 2% and 5% okay this one and this one okay so here we have calculated all the parameters so again uh, i would request you to please watch all the videos related to time domain analysis time response analysis of zero order first order and second order systems which i have uploaded and also about the time response parameters where i have discussed all these things in detail in separate videos about uh, uh, you know the time response curve then the output response uh, equation then these uh, things such as delay time rise time peak time overshoot settling time all have discussed in separate videos okay so please watch those videos first so that you understand it in a better way okay